Today we'll be going over how to fix the lung sounds or heart sounds on the Simman 3G or Essentials or Simman ALS uh, uh, chest plate. The simplest thing to do is there's a wire loom down here on the patient's upper left shoulder. So after you remove the skin uh, with the two zippers, there's a, a loom wires here. If you move the wires over to the left um, or down, 90% of the time that will actually fix your issue with the, the lung sounds not working. Make sure you're oscillating the areas that are not working and then double check at the very end for those to start work. As you're doing chest compressions, the wire loom gets moved around and then the wires sometime, sometimes can lose contact. If that doesn't work, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a very fall, uh, small um, uh, tip screwdriver, one of you probably use for um, eyeglasses repairs, and we're going to tighten the connections on the wire loom for the uh, chest plate. So what you wanna do is you wanna lift the chest plate up there's two hoses for the pneumothorax, pull those off. And then we're gonna release the defib cable, little tab here, lift up, and then just slide the chest wall over to the right. Well, patient's left, actually. Then we're gonna push on the tab here. It's a little bit hard to do. And then we're going to tighten the connections in here. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's gold, a gold square essentially in here, contact. And all we're going to do is we're going to slide the screwdriver on the on the same side of each one and we're going to close the connection so all we're doing is we're taking that square piece and we're closing it because it's going on to round pins so each one of these i'm going to try to slide in on the, uh, along with the plastic and i'm closing each of one of these pins we're going to say i did all those and then we're going to slide the connection back on and then Again, the wires um, are uh, a loose connection sometimes. We're gonna put this uh, defibrillation cable back on. So slide on, it's, you, there's quite a bit of pressure. And it snaps into place. Make sure the defib cable is not interfering with the CPR spring. So I like to tuck behind the defib, or I'm sorry, the um, chest tube, chest tube tube. Hoses go back on. and then the chest wall plate sits down into place. So again, make sure you're oscillating um, and then you might need to move the wires over again to get the connection to, to be in the right spot. So that's it.